I think we're arriving at the nest. We still don't see the enemies in the in the. Well, we do them. We do see them now, in the compass down at the bottom left. Come here. Where are they? Oh, I see you. One of them goes down. I don't hear shots. That's potentially bad news. Where are, where are they? There they are. Okay. She stood behind. I think I might have... She might have stopped. Whew. Hi. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Especially with two of us. Come with me. Especially with you giving me... Equipment that I don't need, really. Thanks for the help, though. And we can drink water to heal the gecko bites. That's how it goes. Oh, there's gonna be more. These guys in there. Oh, those shots. They are so funny looking. I think they're. I swear they're more. They're funnier looking than the ones in, in Fallout 2. Don't punch the dog. Okay. The dog didn't die. Cheyenne. Cayenne? Ch however it's pronounced. The mountain. Oh, don't need that. Where are you going, though? Oh, there's more of them down south. Yeah, if I go on first, things are a little bit safer for a little Cayenne. Enter Vats by pushing V. Don't push V. Why would you do that to her? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. What are they fighting? Oh, I'm sorry. Saving people here. There's too many. Good call. That was good. Are we are we safe? Morning. Hi. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. So you have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react to you or to, into what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. And those are not mutually exclusive, I believe. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Though you will initially start out with a neutral reputation with any given faction, your fame and infamy will eventually push your reputation in different directions. You can see all of your current reputation reputations with your hiccups because that's what I that's how I do. So now I'm accepted by Good Springs. I better be. Did you see that, Sonny? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? It couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Literally. And figuratively. See, I did a good job. Goodbye. Thank you. Now, I got bitten quite a lot by those geckos. So now let's heal. And that's where she went. We got a uh, a fireplace or campfire. Wait, you can't activate these? Why not? Is it because it's off? There's a gecko coming in. What is that gecko doing? Gecko? 
Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. What? No, I may not. I've done my decisions. And I will stick with them. Oh, that gecko is gonna meet his mother. Hello. I will kill you now. Oh, they were little geckos. Are they smaller than the other? Yeah, they are. There was a gecko going to meet his mother. But they are also tougher than the ones I that we fought in the tutorial. That was basically what it is. I am taking a lot of damage, though. Let's see if I can have a charge. I broke a leg. That gecko is mean. I have... I have broken a leg. We're gonna go around with a broken leg for a little while then. Because I, I, it's fine. It's all good. Anyway, let's look after our, let's uh, look into our plants. Hey, Victor. Checking on the, uh, oh, there's enemies. Howdy, partner. Yeah. Happy trails. There's enemies, all right. So it's pretty important to check on all these um, mailboxes, which can be pretty tedious. Oh, we have Mantis. Oh, they hurt. They hurt me. And they have legs and they blow up when you loot them. It's really weird that they do that, but they do. So we need to find not jalapenos, although jalapenos are really nice. Brock flower and Xander root, which are a reference to items in Fallout One, uh, Fallout Two specifically. I don't think we're gonna find them out here. No, we are. The Xander roots are mine. Let's go inside though, to the schoolhouse. Oh, there's a lot of these, aren't there? Turn the light on a little bit. Empty lockers. Here come these. You can punch the air. It's fine enough. Oh, hi. Oh, there's many. Okay. I don't think we're going to find any sender roots in here. We have a Mentis Oetheca. Oetheca. All these names are probably Native American in, in, in nature. Meeting People. Meeting People is a magazine, I believe. And by that... Where, where is it? Aid? It is. It adds 10 to speech, but it's temporary. <laughs> the first time you look at that and you're like, ooh, lovely. 10 speech, that is my... It's my thing. And we also have Programmer's Digest, which is basically the same thing. We've got a computer over here. Scrap electronics. Bobby pins, very important, to open safes. But I believe this is our tutorial. Yes, it is. For hacking. Now, hacking is really interesting. In that there, there are little things in here. Which is the duds. These things, allowance replenished. Interesting. You see those? You remove some of these options. So you can you spend a little bit of time messing around with the code. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why, how you'd even like spend time doing that. But it is good. Like if you, if you just go for, for the, these words first. Um, and then go for the duds after. That probably is the the ideal strategy. For me, it's going to be fine. What is that? Look at that. Huh. I like the idea. I don't think these dud removal features existed in, uh, in Fallout 3. I'm pretty sure they didn't. But that's an interesting idea. Anyway, so the way this works is you choose a word. And it tells you how many options are correct or uh, how many there are not. So the way I look at it is I look at the, uh, for example, healing is really easy if you look at the ings. All the ings are out. So I think you can right-click these. No, no, you can't right-click them to, you know, uh, sign them out. 
So, uh, all the ings are out. But, for example, uh, rations. Rations uh, could be a thing. Hmm. R warning. There it is. It's an easy one, but it's I'm not very good at this. <laughs> it's a good thing that these computers work 200 years after they got disabled. And now we can dis disengage the lock. Which, at the end of the day, uh, we could have done and got uh, a walkthrough or a tutorial. But, yeah. We got a baseball. Mentats. That's drugs. We, we want the drugs. A stealth boy is also drugs, but it's... A different sort of drugs. It's a really interesting item that you find for the first time in uh, the end section of Fallout 1. And uh, it's pretty important in the end section of Fallout 1. Not so much as a using a usable item, although it is important as a usable item as well. But more so as a lore item. It's really interesting. I really enjoy Fallout 1 so much. It's like everything makes sense. So much sense put together and stuff. And in this game you just find it lying around, which is fair enough. Because, you know... You don't need to rehash what Fallout 1 went through. Salesman Weekly. More of those magazines. Oh, baseball glove. No. More of those magazines because those are useful for when we need speech. Salesman's Weekly, I think, might be for... Not for speech so much as, as for barter, but still. It's usable in, in speech. Barter is... Oh, look at that. It's a big iron, a uh, big horn. What did he call it? What did Easy Pete call it? A big horner. Yeah. Oh, finally was able to activate the, uh, the campfire. Now we can craft some gecko steak because I got some gecko meat. Lovely. This is where the little gecko that bit my legs off, where it came from. And this is where we have more Zender Root. Soundtrack is kicking up. And more geckos, I think. I think something else is going to kick up pretty soon as well. There's a lot of dead Zender Root around here. Oh, look. More better ones. We don't want to go down there right now. Let's see what this gecko is all about. Why you? Oh. That's not... as I, I failed at pulling my fist up. You're not going to be angry at me? You are going to be angry. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try... I'm gonna try this. This I uh, oh I think we found our oh yeah some gecko hide. I think we found our rock flower. Good. I don't know how much I need. I think I don't need any more. Good. Now we can go back to Sunny. Which is pretty decent because I think I need some. Um. I think I need some healing. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Yes. Healing powder. I only have one Brock file over, though, so I'll have to make more later. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I will, indeed. Not the first time somebody says poke. Um, but, uh, bye, Cayenne. But that also confirms who Trudy is. Hey. Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. 
Please, she's going to die. Oh, the geckos. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. Uh, I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. He doesn't sound very convincing. He also just walks away. Well, let's see what this is all about. If it's going to be geckos, then I need a little bit of healing. So, I hope that there are more Brock flowers up here. Night's falling. Oh my god, there's so many geckos. It's a freaking barrage of geckos. Wait a minute, are you not... Where are you going? You guys not gonna fight me? Everything is crippled. Walk backwards. I'm bad. Okay, one of the geckos is gone. The two geckos is gone. But this one is the hunters. It's part of the... The thugs. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, man. I should not have picked a fight with them. Now I have a concussion. Ah. Uh, well, this is why I save my... I can't even look at my things. Uh, th this is why I save my doctor's bags. Can I not go there? Thank you. I only have the one. And now I'm good. Am I good? I am. Whew. Where's the other one? There you are. No more rock flowers up there? Okay, let's also try our healing item. Even though I probably shouldn't. So I go to items over here. We have a gecko steak that does heal us a little bit. Let's look at our food right now. 110. Maybe a gecko steak. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a gecko steak. Gives us a little bit of radiation, but, you know, radiation, smariation. It is a bit of a problem that there seem to be more geckos over here. There you are. Come here. They hurt, they hurt, they hit really good. Pretty cool strikes though. There's a lot of back and forth. Okay. Ooh, he had an egg. I see something up there. I see more geckos. Oh, nice. Oh, that one's a big one. That one's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Yep. Let's see. So I have I should have healing um med kits. Steam packs, that's the one. So we have expired. Yeah, let's go with the, ex the expired ones. Oh, this one is scared now. Well, that one is dead as well. So that is, that is a, a better version of a gecko. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. I wonder if circle strafing is better. No. Okay, so let's try stealthing. It says caution. But what does caution even mean? Let's also try something different. Because we have boxing gloves. Not much else. Let's see if this does damage. It, it seems to do. Uh, my weapon is in poor condition, though, but, uh, that worked out. Oh, no, that might have not uh, worked out as well as I had wanted. Oh, but... Oh. 
I knocked him out. I don't know why it says that. Did it say that before? Okay. Let's try it. Let's give the, uh, the healing powder a try there. So it gives me herbal sickness. Let's find out what that is. So going to the effects. Apparently, this condition... Wait. Effects. It, it wasn't working. Um, herbal sickness is perception minus one. Oh, this is terrible effect. Yeah, we're not using... We're not using... Um, that. <laughs> it does heal pretty good, though. So as a slow healer, it might have been... It might be a good... Good call. I don't see anybody up there. I only feel the... The geckos. If it's the big guys again... I'm gonna need to pull out my big gloves. I think that is a big one. No, it isn't. It's a small one. Is it? A small one? No. Oh my god, he bit my head. No, that is definitely a big one. And I have another... Oh, that is bad news. I have another head injury. We should be fine. Because we have Dr. Mitchell who promised that he'd help. Okay, they got... Okay, they got knocked out. So let's try not have the boxing gloves. And kill them like this so that the boxing gloves last longer. It's really weird that they get knocked out. But I think the boxing gloves are going to be really handy. I want to do this to some... To some, uh... Death Claw. Okay. There's nobody there. Hello? Oh, she got eaten. You are crippled? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, look at that. It's a... A vault suit. I think. Oh. That's a trap. So both of my arms are broken. They work pretty fine to me. This is really weird. They get knocked out forever? Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there, after I deal with you. No! What? He shot me. He basically killed me. In a single shot. I mean, I was very injured. Man, this is going badly. Well, but I can see your game. I know what you're up to. And, uh... So what I'm gonna do, actually, is, uh... I'm gonna go to Good Springs. Dr. Mitchell! I need help! I got punched in the face and bitten in the leg! And shot, shot in the face by a laser pistol as well. I want that laser pistol. To sell it, because we're not gonna use it. I mean, he seems to be up, so... Excuse me? Doc? He's got... He's got things. Look at all the things that he has. Empty syringes. I mean, fair enough. But... Buffalo gourds. Yeah, we need that for food. And a knife. Doc. Where is he? Is he sleeping right now? He is sleeping. Making a heck of a racket and he's just... Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I'm all broken. Sure, I can help you out. Oh, you need money for it. I'll be fine. Suit yourself. Um. So, tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. 
Seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Hmm. Uh, you had some, uh, it said before that you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Okay, uh, what town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Yeah, like geckos and stuff. Yeah. What else can you tell me about Good Springs? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Hmm. I'll have to talk to both of them. Um... Who was it that uh, rescued me, by the way? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Yep, I caught him outside, though, but... Do you know anything about the men that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Mm-hmm. Still need to talk to her. Okay, goodbye. You take care now. I'll try to. You go back to sleep. So, let me see if I can... Use your chemistry set. For s oh, this requires science to create some steam packs. I can also create some drugs. Four steam pack homemades. There it is. I think I'll pay, though, buying all the med uh, the doctor's bags or selling them, anyway. Um, is definitely more expensive than just paying 75 bucks. Or, not bucks, but whatever. A tire iron right there. It's definitely more expensive, so I probably will pony up. It's got a kitchen going on in here. Probably has good water over here. Yeah, he does. It's not so much the health that I have a problem with, it's the limbs that are broken. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait a minute. How many rooms does this guy have? A grimy pre-war business way. For extra speech, I'll take that. And some packs of cigarettes. I'll take those as well, because they are very expensive. Yeah, still everything is how Fallout New Vegas works. Although a little bit less than Fallout 3. But still, it's it's still how it works. How are you holding up? Not very well. Sure. So, he's a trader as well. And he's got money. And that's my money right there. That's much better. Hey, Doc. Sure, I... Fix me up. Okay, hold still. I think that's pretty cheap for a clean bill of health. He, he He's a magical doctor. He heals me while walking away. Don't, don't, don't ask too many questions. It's, it's complicated. Anyway... Now that I, well, actually, my boxing gloves are a little bit on the broken side of things. So I might want to go to the general store and maybe buy something for my weapon. I think the general store is over there. Good Springs General Store. 